Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions, coming at you here with a Black Ops Search and Destroy gameplay commentary. Here I am using the Kaparis on Nuketown. I think it's Kaparis, right? Kaparis. Kiparis. Whatever. Anyway, I'm using it on Nuketown. One of those guns, this is one of those games, um, and really one of those one of those times where I just decided, you know what, I'm going to try out a new gun, and I've never really used uh, the the Kaparis, and I've I've actually tried recording a, uh, a combat record video, and let me know in the comments what you think about the prospects of me doing a combat record video. I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing in terms of recording a combat record video, like how long it's supposed to be, what I'm supposed to show or say or anything like that. And I remember seeing that I didn't have any kills with the Kapara, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try to use it. And uh, for those of you that follow me on Twitter, uh, you got to see I was raving about how much I love the Kaparis and, and how great it is, but you have to use extended mags with it. You cannot use rapid fire with the Kaparis because it only has a 20-round magazine standard, and with rapid fire, you just blow through that, and even if you have sleight of hand, uh, you're going to be reloading a lot, and you're just going to be having to take yourself out of engagements way too much, at least for my liking, uh, in using rapid fire. So I just run with extended mags, and and I, and I really like that you can see uh, very vividly the the spent shells uh, coming out from the gun. I think it's really cool. Even though when you slow it down and look at it, they just kind of they disappear. Uh, they're not actual in-game ob objects. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool seeing that coming out of the gun. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys a quick update because once again, uh, you know, I'm I'm really happy with how how it was received and I'm talking about my anger and aggression video and I want to explain to you guys because I don't know maybe some of you might not get it uh, as to why I'm sharing these things about myself uh, and and there's many reasons there's actually a few that I that I hope to touch on this is a rather shorter video uh, but I but I want to get to them and you know one of the reasons that that and again full this is full disclosure lefty here um, and one of the reasons I'm sharing it with you is because one thing I learned when coming in, uh, trying to break into the to the radio business or, or get into the radio business, one of the things my dad taught me or, or told me and something that I agree with is that it is it is beneficial for a prospective person in the radio business or that kind of business within the entertainment, uh, under the entertainment umbrella, to regularly or at some or some at some point include their their listeners their viewers the consumers of their content in their personal lives it gives the, their on air or on camera or on microphone persona more depth and because of that more people will be able to relate and that will increase the chances of coming back to watch or consume or pay for the content and and so that's what i'm doing i'm, I'm be honest i'm trying to give my character more depth and but really one of the big reasons uh, that I'm doing this, and, and this is going to sound weird to some of you. Uh, some of you it's going to make sense too, and, and, I, and I'm glad uh, that, that you get it if you do. But I'm a huge nerd, obviously. <laughs> I mean, we all know that. Uh, I did a video proclaiming myself as such. But one thing, I, I don't think I really explained this in full, is uh, one day I watched uh, with my dad um, a, a, a documentary on the Hubble telescope. It was uh, narrated by... Leonardo DiCaprio, of all people, I don't think he had really like kind of a narration voice, but watching it, it was really cool. Uh, but it was about the Hubble tel telescope and how what the Hubble telescope is able to do. And once they they fixed it not too long ago, uh, they sent up a, a team of uh, of astronauts to fix the Hubble telescope to give it more capabilities to change some components into it, and um, and it started beaming back images because originally when the Hubble telescope went up. Uh, a, over a decade ago, I believe, for those of you that don't know or for those of you that weren't even alive when it went up, when they first got the images back from the Hubble telescope, the images that started to beam back, they were blurry. The lenses were all screwed up in the telescope, and uh, and they didn't really know that when they were sending it up, so they had to go fix it one time, and then and then more recently, they uh, they they updated the instrumentation on it, and it was a documentary more so of of what went into changing the Hubble telescope. But one thing I found really cool was that they started the Hubble telescope can see far off nebulae, and the nebulae that are creating literally creating stars and solar systems just huge unfathomably large collections of gases and energy and and matter and all these things that create 
stars and galaxies. Or not galaxies, solar systems. And I was watching that, and my dad and I, you know, we watched it. It was about a 30-minute uh, documentary, and if you, if you uh, have a chance to view it, I really suggest you do. It's really, really cool, especially if you watch it in HD. And, uh, and I'll tweet a picture of the, the home theater that we watched it on at my, uh, at my dad's house at home. And, uh, you know, twitter.com slash lefty643, hardy har har. But I'll tweet a picture of it, and, uh, and hopefully you guys will, will enjoy that. But it's just really, really cool how detailed and, and awesome it is. But, but the point that we got from it, in watching that, and this is why I, I'm deciding to share my my quest, I guess you could say, against anger, is because the, the sentiment that we both, my dad and my my dad and I, got from it was that whatever we do here on Earth, you, me, anybody, whatever we do, you know, we we go to the store, we get a job, we quit a job, we form a relationship, anything like that, the nebula doesn't care. It doesn't matter to the nebula. The nebula is going to do what it does. It's going to create with the, with these these awesome amounts of energy. It's going to create things. And, and and I don't mean to personify the nebula too much, but really the nebula doesn't care. And when you look at it from that perspective, when you when you look, let's say, from the nebula back to Earth, who who cares? What does it matter? So my view on it is, what does it matter? that I have a struggle with anger. Why should that be private? And in fact, if I'm looking to help people and or, or I want to help people, I should be open about it because the nebula doesn't care. The nebula doesn't care about my life. The nebula doesn't care about my personal struggles. So that's what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to help you guys. So there will be update videos. I've decided there are going to be update videos talking more in depth about what's going on. I don't want to relay too much of the book I'm reading because I don't know if there's like potential copyright infringement issues. Uh, but I suggest you all go check it out if you do uh, have believe you have an anger problem uh, or anything like that. But anyway, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Just go to twitter.com slash lefty643. Once again, that's twitter.com slash lefty643. And I have a brand new spanking new Facebook page up and running. It is there. You can interact with me, comment on my on my thoughts, on my opinions. I am very active. I try to be very active and it's a easy very very easy way for you guys to interact with me i know a lot of you have facebook so just go to facebook.com slash lefty 643 once again that's facebook.com slash lefty 643 like up the page uh so that you can be involved in what i'm doing you'll be notified when i post something or post a link to a video and and it's great it should be a lot of fun i hope to see you there once again that's facebook.com slash lefty 643 thank you for joining i hope you enjoyed i am out I ain't want nothing to do with you and you, you little stupid ways, man. It's ridiculous. I, I won't talk to you. That's it. Leave me alone. I'm done with you. You're ridiculous. When you, this is stupid. You, you are a piece of crap, dude.